Now let's take a look at example 2. Find the term independent of x in the expansion of x squared minus 2 over x raised to the power of 12. Now the term independent of x means the constant term. The constant term whereby the x power is 0. Okay, so it's actually talking about x to the power of 0. Alright, so how are we going to find the specific term with x to the power of 0? Alright, of course we got to use the general term formula. Alright, so uh, the first step will be of course let the term that we're interested in be the general term. So the general term according to what we've just talked about will be 12cr, okay, x squared and of course the second term negative 2 over x alright now negative 2 over x will be having a power of r while x squared will have a power of 12 minus r okay so this is the general term in this binomial expansion what it means is that well, every single term inside this expansion should look like this okay we have a we have a blueprint of something like this all right so uh depending on what is the value for r when you submit the values for r you will get uh, each individual terms all right so for example if you want uh, when you substitute in r equals to three okay you will get the fourth term when you substitute in r equals to five you will get the sixth term and so on and so forth but the problem is we have no idea where is this constant term? Where is this term this independent of x? I mean, um, is it in the fifth term? Is it the f sixth term? Well, I mean, we have no idea. And that's why we don't know what is our r. Okay? So now the first thing that we have to do will be to find out what is the value of r. Okay? And how are we going to do that? Well, basically, we don't know anything yet. The only thing we know is that the term that we want to find, okay, the term that we want to find has got an x to the power of 0. Okay, so we have to make use of that. And how do we make use of that? We make use of the x that we have. So we'll just draw out all the x's that we have. So this is x squared raised to the power of 12 minus r. Okay, and of course, uh, this x here is actually x to the power of negative 1. Okay, raised to the power of r. Alright, it's equal to x to the power of 0. Alright, now take notice of how I ignore all the constants. Okay, 12CR is a constant. I have, I have no idea why it is and therefore it is totally useless for me at the moment. Okay, negative 2, again is another constant. Uh, again, I don't know what is R and therefore it is totally useless for me. So, the only thing that we take note of is the X. Okay, so we can compare the power from uh, with the, the left hand side, okay, with the right hand side. Okay, so the power of the left hand side with the right hand side. So, um, let us continue. Now, using the law of indices, we know that we can expand um, the powers here. So, we have actually x to the power of 24 minus 2r multiplied by x to the power of negative r is equal to x to the power of 0. So, from here, okay, by comparing the power, we can say that, well, 24 minus 3r is equal to 0. Okay? And therefore, from here, we know that our r is equal to 8. Now, what do we know? We know that when r is equal to 8, we will have x to the power of 0. It's that simple. That is it. This is what is going on here. Okay, so when r is equal to 8, we have x to the power of 0. And now what's to do? What are we supposed to do? Well, all we have to do now is to substitute in r equals to 8 into this term. Remember that this is the term that we're interested in. So all we have to do is to substitute in r equals to 8. Okay, and we will get 12c8. Okay, now x squared. Um, 12 minus 8, that will give us a 4, right? And of course, negative 2x raised to the power of 8. Okay, so uh, from your calculator, you will know that 12c8 is 495. Okay, and then of course, this term here, we have x to the power of 8. And um, negative 2 raised to the power of 8, that will give us 256. Okay, positive. And the denominator will be x to the power 8. So from here, x to the power 8 and x to the power 8 here can cancel. And the final answer will have 
Whoa, 126,720. So this is the term that we're interested in, the term that is independent of x, the term that has got x to the power of 0, the constant term, I mean, whatever way you want to know it. Okay, they all mean the same thing, x to the power of 0. Now, if the question asks you to find, say, you know, um, for example, the term in this expansion with x cubed, Okay, now let's say that they're no longer interested in the term independent of x, now they're interested in the term with x cubed. Now, how are we going to do that? Okay, now, exactly the same. Okay, the steps here are exactly the same. In fact, you can even copy everything here and recycle this. Okay, it will be 24 minus 3r equals to 3. Okay, so from here, we work out, we know that 3r is equal to 21, and therefore r is equal to 7. Now what this tells us is that when r is equal to 7, we will get the term that has got x cubed. Okay? Now, bear in mind that your r value, okay, whatever answer that you get for your r, in this case we get 8, or in this case we get 7, your r has to be positive, has to be an integer. Okay? You cannot have, say, r equals to, you know, 3 over 2. Now this is definitely wrong. Alright? Alright, you, you can't say that, well, you can get r equals to negative 1. Again, this is definitely wrong. Alright? So, when when this happens, okay, when, when you do get r in, in, in funny numbers like this, oh, you definitely have done something seriously wrong up here. So, you better check. Okay, go through your answers one more time to see where you went wrong. We have now 